Hello, my name is Sharon McGee and I am president of Flamingo Air Academy. Flamingo Air Academy is located in Cincinnati, Ohio at Lunkin Airport. I would like to welcome you to our Aircraft Dispatcher Certification course. You have logged on to digitalchalk.com. This is our long distance learning software that will enable you to accomplish your goal of becoming an FAA aircraft dispatcher. The process is long and arduous. You must accumulate 200 hours of training in order to become an FAA certified aircraft dispatcher. That 200 hours of training can be accomplished in a number of different ways. You can accomplish your goal through the traditional six week or 13 weekend program, or you can use our long distance web-based learning course. This course is designed so that you can accomplish 152 of the hours necessary to become an aircraft dispatcher. Those 48 hours that are left will be accomplished here in Cincinnati through a six-day residency program. The web-based program is through Digital Chalk. You have received a username and password and you are ready to begin your journey. The course covers 11 different segments. These 11 different segments cover all of the material all of the requirements for your dispatcher license. These are the following aerodynamics, aircraft performance, navigation, communication, meteorology, and most particularly hazardous weather conditions, regulations from the FAA, air traffic control, emergency procedures, and practical dispatch programs. The practical dispatch applications will enable you to have real-world experience with dispatching aircraft. Once you have accomplished the web-based program, which is each one of these 11 elements, each one of these 11 elements has a test associated with it, you will take the test following each one of these elements. Once you have successfully completed the tests, you will be given a certificate and that is your proof that you have taken the course, accomplished the training, and are ready to come here for the six-day program. Once you have arrived here in Cincinnati for this six-day residency program, you will go to class every day. They are eight hours of classroom work. During that time you will receive practical applications and practical experience with subjects such as flight planning, analysis of weather, and so on. All of this is accomplished here in Cincinnati. Additionally, prior to coming to Cincinnati, you will have to pass two Airman Knowledge Tests. These Airman Knowledge Tests are the Private Pilot Knowledge Test and the Aircraft Dispatcher Knowledge Tests. Both of these are required before you begin class. So the procedure is the following. You log on to Digital Chalk. You accomplish the 152 hours of training through the Internet. You come to Cincinnati, take the private pilot test, take the aircraft dispatcher test, then you will sit for the six-day program. At the end of those six days, you will be thoroughly prepared for your oral as well as your practical exam with an FAA examiner. Once you have passed your oral test and your practical test, you will then become a certified aircraft dispatcher. So welcome to Cincinnati, welcome to Flamingo Air Academy, and let's begin our journey. I'd like to give you a little tour of Lunkin Airport. 
so that you can be familiar with the location of the school. Lunkin Airport is located here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and in the 1930s, this airport was the largest municipally owned airport in the world. In addition to that, it was also the busiest airport in the world. But the history of Lunkin Airport actually goes back to the very beginning of aviation itself. There was a field here that airplanes landed on going back to the First World War. And in 1928, the Lunkin family purchased all of the land that you'll see out here on the field. That land was then donated to the city of Cincinnati in a perpetual lease as part of their gift to the city of Cincinnati. So it will be an airport forever. In addition to being the largest municipally, airport, municipally owned airport in the world, this airport was also the busiest airport in the world. We had three airlines here. We had an airline, Delta Airlines, Eastern Airlines, and American Airlines. American Airlines started right here at Lunkin Airport. If you look at the field, the field now has three runways, but initially we only had two. The building that you'll be that the school is located in is the main terminal building. If you look to the top of the building, you'll see an old control tower. That control tower is the oldest existing control tower in the United States. It's not the oldest, but it is the oldest existing control tower in the United States. Now, Lunkin Airport is located very close to two rivers, the Ohio River and the Little Miami River. And prior to the 1950s, this airport would get flooded all the time. So again, if you look up at the main building and to the left of the clock, you will see a small black plaque. That black plaque is the high water mark from the worst flood we ever had in the city of Cincinnati in 1937. The water was up that far on the building. The only thing out of the entire airport that was sticking out of the water was the glass part of the control tower. Hence the nickname, Sunken Lunkin'.